Hi everyone. Today I'm going to fill out my March Madness bracket. And I'm not a huge basketball fan, but it's still fun to fill out the bracket and see how well you do. So I've got the chart. Um, this is the official um, NCAA bracket chart that they put out. And then I also have a um, bracket put out by CBS Sports. This is 2024 NCAA bracket. So um, it actually started. There's some uh, first four, which is kind of like a, a wild card games, I guess you could say. And they took place yesterday and today. And I don't yet know the winners of those. Um, so we had, uh, in the West, we had Howard, Wagner, Virginia, and Colorado. Um, and then we had Montana State, Gambling, Boise, and Colorado. This is Colorado State and Colorado. So I will look those up and see who won when we get to that part. So I'll do it in pencil. <laughs> um, I think I'll do... There's more room to write on this one. So I'll use this one to write on. But this one has um, the actual... Uh, the win-loss record for the team as this one just has the seeding um, so it's nice to combine both of those all right so I get this to write on um, so first of all we have University of Connecticut or Yukon versus Stetson Yukon is seeded number one they have 31, the record is 31 to 3, so obviously still a strong team. So I'm going to put UConn, go to that, win that. And then they will play the winner of um, Florida Atlantic, which is FAU, versus Northwestern, 8 and 9 seeds. Uh, records aren't too, let's see, Florida is 25-8, Northwestern's 21-11, so I think I will put, um, this one also has the location of the game, so these are in Brooklyn, we have different venues, Spokane, Omaha, um, Charlotte, Memphis, Salt Lake City, Brooklyn, Pittsburgh, Indianapolis, and sh yeah, Charlotte and Pittsburgh. We got those already. We've got the East Divisions, West, South, and Midwest. All right, so uh, I will put, I think, Florida Atlantic to win there. And then I'm going to go, I think, with UConn again over here. Pretty strong team. And then we have San Diego State versus uh, UAB. U University, I'm not, sure, I'm not sure what UAB stands for. And their records are pretty close, so... I'll go for San Diego. Go. And then we have Auburn and Yale. 27-7. And Yale is 22-9. Um, Yale has a little bit lower record, but 
I think I'm going to select Yale here. Okay. I think we'll just go down it um, each section at a time and do it that way. So in the next bracket we have um, BYU, which is Brigham Young University, 2310 versus Duquesne. I don't know how to say that. It's probably in I don't know where that is. Louisiana. It's very French. Duquesne. Their records are very similar. I'll go with Brigham Young, I think. Okay. Then we have Illinois at 26-8 against Moorhead State, also 26-8. I will take Illinois. Next we have, um, see, Washington State, 24-9, and Drake at 28-6. Drake's number 10 seed. I think I'll pick Drake here. Iowa State versus South Dakota State. Mm. Where are we? Iowa State. 27 7 against 22 and 12 record. So I'll, to go to, I'll go with Iowa there. And then North Carolina at 27 7 versus the winner between Howard and Wagner, which is the, one of these uh, wild card games. So, um,. Wow, North Carolina is at 27-7. Howard is 18-16. Wagner is 16-15. So I, regardless of who won that, I think I'm going to go with North Carolina. Okay. Mm, and they are be up against the winner of Mississippi State against Michigan State, 1914 uh, and 21-13. Kind of like, hmm, take Michigan, even though they have a little bit lower. Um, I have a strong feeling about Michigan State. <laughs> St. Mary's versus Grand Canyon. Both pretty good records. 26-7 versus 29-4. I'll go with St. Mary's. Alabama and Charleston. Definitely go Alabama here. Go Bama. Uh, Clemson New Mexico. New Mexico has the better record at 26-9, but I always like Clemson for some reason, so I'm going to pick Clemson. Um, Baylor and Colgate. Colgate slightly better record, but I like Baylor. Dayton and Nevada. So similar records. Don't know much about either one. Go with um, Dayton, I think. Then Arizona versus Long Beach State. Arizona has the better record, so I will go with Arizona. So now, <coughs> We have um, San Diego versus Yale. Let's see, 24, 22. We'll go with San Diego here. And uh, BYU, which is 23.10 against Illinois here, 26.8. I'll go with Illinois. 
Drake against Iowa. So Drake's 28-6, Iowa's 27-7, pretty close in terms of their record. Um, Iowa seed number two. I think I will go Drake here. And then we've got, um, I can't read my own writing, North Carolina and Michigan State. North Carolina is 27-7, Michigan State 19-14. Okay, I'm going to think I'm going to have to go with North Carolina. Then we have St. Mary's and Alabama. St. Mary's 26-7, seed number 5. Alabama 21-11, seed number 4. 26-7, 21-11. Alright. Alabama has a lower record, but I'm going to go with Alabama. Clemson, Baylor, two of my favorite teams. 21-11, 10 I think I'll go Baylor here. And then um, the last one in the West conference is Dayton and Arizona. 25-8, so Pretty similar records. Ohio and Arizona. I think I'll pick Arizona. So now we are down to the winners. We're almost to our um, winner in this one. We've got to choose Yukon or San Diego. I will pick. Oh, Yukon was big. Um, I'll continue with UConn, I think. Then Illinois versus Drake. I think I'll take Illinois. North Carolina versus Alabama. I'll continue on with Alabama in the West. Baylor and Arizona. I will pick Baylor. Baylor. Alright, so now we have decide who's going to go here. Yukon versus Illinois. Let's check back on here what our records are. Illinois was at 26, 8, 3 seed. And Yukon was at 31, 3 in uh, first seed. So I've been kind of going Yukon, but Illinois sounding kind of strong too. Mm, I don't know. Let's, I guess I'll just stick with Yukon. And then Alabama versus Baylor. We've got where's ba Baylor's at twenty three ten number three seed and Alabama is twenty one eleven number four seed. Uh, I'm gonna. Mm, I don't know. I'm gonna stick with Alabama. I think on this one. All right. Now I have to choose who's gonna win between UConn and Alabama. So we've got 21-11, 31-3. Well, it's hard to beat UConn's record. <laughs> they may have some baggage, but I'll go with UConn. What the heck? Now, I haven't listened to any of the pundits on TV or the radio too much in terms of like who they're picking. Because <laughs> I, I wanted to just do it myself. Okay, so now we've got the, that was the East and the West divisions, and we've got the South and the Midwest. Alright, 
So Houston versus Longwood. Definitely Houston there. Nebraska against Texas A&M. Mm, I'm going to go with Nebraska there. Here we've got Wisconsin against James Madison. James Madison has a pretty good record. I'm going to go with that. And then Duke taking on Vermont here. Both pretty strong. I'm going to go Vermont. Now we have um, Texas Tech and North Carolina State. 22-14 against 23-10. I'll go Texas Tech. Kentucky battling Oakland. The records are similar. Kentucky's the three seed. Uh, I'll go with Kentucky. My bracket's very messy here, but what the heck. <laughs> um, Florida against the winner of um, BSU and Colorado. Boise State. Boise State is at 22-10. Colorado's 24-10. So that game, I think, is today. I'm going to just look it up real quick and see. Um, if I can find out who won that one. Did I say Boise's BSU? B Oops, BSU versus Colorado. Oh, it's only the halftime. <laughs> Colorado versus Boise State. Live score. Mm, down two at the half. Twenty-four twenty. Nineteen minutes ago. Four minutes ago. Colorado. Buffaloes versus Boise State Broncos. Well, this seems to be going on still. All right, as far as I can tell from this thing. <laughs> oh, final. Nope. Let me take that back. That was last year. All right. So, I do not know who's going to win that. Um, but whoever wins that is going to go against Florida. This record is. Uh, 24 11 so I'm just gonna go with Florida here and then Marquette against West Kentucky now Marquette is at 25 9 number two seed Western Kentucky is 22 11 at 15 seed uh, I like Marquette here Spell that right. And then we have for the Midwest, we have um, Purdue, so number one seed against the winner of Montana State versus Grambling. And that game is going on. Montana State. That game is also going on today, I think. 1770. 1717 versus 2014 record against Purdue. Purdue, where's Purdue? 294. All right, well, I'll probably go with Purdue, but I'm going to see if Montana State versus Grambling. Um, let's see. I'll put Grambling because it'll come right up. I don't even know where that is. <laughs> Grambling. 
Montana State versus Grambling. Predictions, odds. Grambling State beats Montana State. Okay. Looks like they... All right. So let's go ahead with Purdue on that one. I think it looks like Grambling won. Purdue. Um, then we have Utah State taking on TCU, Texas Christian University. And Utah State is at 27-6, TCU 21-12, 8-9 seeds. Um, TCU's record isn't as good, but I like TCU, so I'm going to go with TCU here. Gonzaga at taking on McNeese. I have not heard of McNeese. Gonzaga 25-7, McNeese 33. That's a pretty good record. Uh, but I like Gonzaga. So I'm going to go with Gonzaga. Then we have uh, Kansas versus Samford 22-10 and 29-5 that game will be in Salt Lake City on the 20 tomorrow uh, so I'll pick well I'll have to pick Kansas even though they don't have as a good record but my husband's from Kansas so <laughs> I have to pick Kansas okay uh, South Carolina and Oregon. I'm going to go with Oregon just because I like Oregon. They don't have as good of a record, but I lived there for a while, so I'm partial. <laughs> um, Creighton versus Akron. I will go with Akron here, I think. And then Texas versus um, University of Virginia, the winner between UVA and, um, or yeah, University of Virginia or Colorado State. That game, I think, was yesterday. Let's see if I can find who won that. UVA versus. Colorado State. Mm. Ooh, looks like 67-42 Colorado State. That's pretty good. Okay. And uh, where's Texas at? 2012. So I'm going to give one of these uh, play-in first four people a chance. So I'm going to go Colorado State for that one. And the last in the Midwest is Tennessee taking on St. Peter's and I will go Tennessee here. Alright. So now we are getting to the nitty gritty. Uh, Houston, Nebraska. I'm going to go Houston on that. James Madison, Vermont. James Madison has a pretty good record, so I'm going to stick with James Madison. Texas, Kentucky, Texas Tech. I like Texas Tech, so I'm going to go with them. Uh, Florida, taking on Marquette here. That game is also... Oh, wait, I gotta take that back. Um, Marquette, Marquette, Marquette. Where's Marquette? 25 9, 24. Pretty close. I'll go with Florida here. And that's for the South. Then Midwest, Purdue, and TCU. Purdue 
Duke's got a pretty good record. BUR. Gonzaga and Kansas. Gotta go with Kansas again. <laughs> and then we have um, Oregon and Akron. I'll stick with Oregon here. Colorado State and Tennessee. Uh, well, Colorado would give you chance. Tennessee. Where's Tennessee? 24-8. Go with Tennessee here. Okay, we're getting close. Getting close to the countdown. Um, back to the south. Houston and James Madison. I'm going to go Houston here. And Texas, Florida, Texas Tech. I don't know. Texas Tech, 23, 10, 24. Very similar records. Um, my gut instinct says Texas Tech, so that's what I'm going to do. Texas. And then back to the Midwest, Purdue and Kansas. Who's going to take over there? I'm going to go Purdue. I'm going to give up Port, Port Kansas. And then Oregon, Tennessee. I'm going to stick um, with Oregon, I think, there. Okay. Now we have getting down to the finals. Uh, Houston and Texas. Interestingly, both in Texas. <laughs> let's see, let's review. The Houston is 34. Texas A&M is 2014. So I'm going to stick with Houston. And then we've got Purdue against Oregon. Let's see, Purdue. Purdue was at 29.4. Oregon is 23.11. Alright, I'll go Purdue. Keep on with Purdue. Alright. Alright, so now we have got our final four. University of Connecticut, Yukon, Alabama, Purdue, and Houston. Oh, I forgot to, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so that's the final four, and then we've got to choose between Houston and Purdue. Mm, let's review once again. Houston, Houston, where are you, Houston? Thir 34 is the win-loss record for Houston. Pretty strong. And then Purdue is 29-4 in the Midwest. We've got the Midwest taking on the south here. Uh, Houston. I'm going to give Purdue a shot here. And just give them a... Say they're going to uh, edge out Houston. Alright, so now our final two is Yukon versus Purdue. And... I am going to take, let's see, well, I think it'll be a bit of an upset. I've been pretty strong on UConn, but I have a feeling that uh, Purdue's going to come charging ahead, so I'm going to call Purdue as my national Alright, so there it is, my amateur bracket. <laughs> so I'll probably, as in two days from now, it'll be, I'll be all wrong. But it's fun to do. Uh, and you can print one out yourself. There's lots of different versions online. You can. print one from lots of different places or from the official one and fill out your own bracket. So, 
hope that your favorite teams win. <laughs>